Daniels, a very heavy puncher, very, very heavy puncher with uh, with good basics, really good basics. And Joe's, Joe's a, a work machine that, you know, strong and very fit. That's like top and bottom. You know, I go into too much detail. I'd say that's both of their strengths. Sure. Joe, a few times, yeah, he's a, uh, like I say, that's like, I know him well, he's, uh, he's, you know, formidable, you know, like, He's a come forward fighter. Um, he does take. He, he was never hard to hit, but he was hard to stop. You know what I mean? He can. T- he can. He can take a shot. Whatever. But that's probably different. You know, in them little pro gloves off Daniel the bar. I don't know. We'll see how that that fares up. But he's only human. He surely can't take too much, too many clean shots too early. Uh, well, at any point in the fight, because you know he's going to get marked up for sure. Joe Joyce on TV. And the Joe Joyce, when you're in the ring with him, are two different people. He might look slow and lethargic, and you know, I've heard, I've heard all these words. Joe's slow. Joe's a robot. Joe's this. Joe's that. He's stiff. This is this is this is easy for people to say sitting in, a, in front of a keyboard or on their phone. Do you know what I mean? I've been in the ring with him, and um, you know, like I say, as much as I, I really rate Daniel, you have to rate Joe just as much. The main difference is probably the 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 work rate, Joe. Joe's obviously, he punches constantly. So he's, he's more on you, you know, all throughout the round. Whereas Daniel, he, he fights in sort of spurts. He'll have a couple of bursts around. But he's very technically good, you know. He's very hard to hit as well. But the difference is, Joyce is like a constant pressure. And Dubois sort of like a, a boxing weight and then, and then he'll attack sort of thing. Yeah, they're both very strong. Daniel's probably got the edge, I'd say, a bit in one punch power. Uh, du Bois is a very hard hitter, and but Joyce he, he puts about three or four together, and they're, they're very powerful shots as well. Different sort of clubbing power, whereas Du Bois got that sort of bit more snappy one punch, you know, real bang. Mm. They both they both can whack and they both can uh, put the put the power in definitely. He might seem a certain way on the TV, you know, people think oh he's slow, but he's beating everyone that he's in the ring with, and I think everyone that's been in the ring with him can tell you, you know, it's, it's a different game when you're in there with him, you know, and you experience, you know, the, the technique, the level that he's at. I know Daniel's a, a dangerous fighter. He's proven his punch power. But um, I see a lot of um, uh, promise in, in Joe and his experience and his engine, his, his work rate. He's deceptively... It, people underestimate Joe. I don't see why, because I've seen him firsthand. He's very powerful and he's not as, not as slow as people make him out to be. He's, He's got tremendous punch power, and it'll be good to see how Daniel takes his punch power as well. Yeah, it's really good. It's, it 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 really toughened me up sparring with him, and I'm I'm similar in some. I can fight like that as well. So um, we always meet in the middle of the ring and have have a good spar and a good war. So um, it's exciting to watch, and it's uh, even more exciting to be fighting someone like or sparring someone like Joe. Um, it's always exciting. It's never a dull spar with me and Joe. Joyce is the slightly bigger, slightly physically stronger, but Dubois is the more explosive puncher, and he's more. Um, I would say he's a little more classic in a sense of how he boxes. It's very much like a European style in and out with a bit more of a swift movement than people think. Even though he doesn't move his upper body much and it makes him look a bit robotic at times, his base is actually very excellent. And that's a, a, a strength he has over Joyce, I think, where Joyce can look a little untidy or clumsy at times, but he's a physically strong man regardless. And he has a an engine, for a better want of a word, where, I mean, with very first that's so the guy just did eight rounds just off the back, and I think that was like his first ever spa. So he just doesn't tire, not that I've noticed. Even though it's the same same gear, essentially, it's a consistent rounds, the rounds are going and going and going. He's, he provides a bunch of different problems compared to different people that with with him, obviously, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get relentless pace. He's going to be there to put it on you. Um, and really kind of press the press the spar and there's no time to chill out, relax or or rest at all. He really wants to put it on you. Um and then obviously with his quite size, he's he's a big, big guy, he's not sure, he's he's big and, and there's a lot of weight behind everything he does. So he's quite an imposing character in the ring as well. He takes up a lot of space. So he knows how to manoeuvre that, use it around the ring and just kind of move you around where he needs you and whatever else. But he's like I say, he's looking in he's looking in good shape. Um, I think I'd probably give the speed edge to Daniel. So his, his hands are a bit faster. Probably his feet as well were a bit quicker. Um, so he's got that. And obviously Daniel's, they're both very big hitters. They're both very large hitters. But I think 
Daniel's shots are a bit more crisp than Joe's, just the way he throws them, the kind of technique of it all was just all a bit sharper to me. Um, but then with Joe, he's 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 been like he's banged through near on everyone that he's he's been in there with and really kind of and got into those later rounds a lot more. Like he's he's gone through them that kind of that back end of the fight stuff, which he's known to do and he's comfortable with. So he's got the bigger engine out of the two as well. So it's just about who can make sure that their their attributes are implemented on the night without letting the other person get theirs off. 